Hello my beautiful ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I'd go through some of the fragrances that are on my uh, wish list for 2023. Some fragrances that I have uh, tried for a longer period of, period of time, but I haven't uh, bought them yet in big uh, bottles. So I have some samples here and uh, they're very interesting in their own way. So I thought I'd go through these fragrances and tell you why I think I might buy this one later on this year. And this one is called Noir Absolute. And this one is a, for me, a very elegant and perfect, but also pretty interesting fragrance if you like a little bit more dressed up nighttime fragrances. I don't really have that many of those uh, fragrances in my collection right now, like typical little bit more interesting, a little bit more darker, maybe a little bit dressed up fragrances that you can wear on a night out. You can wear these fragrances on a fancy dinner, uh, elegant piano piano bar or something like that, or maybe you're just in a very um, dressed up tuxedo-like environment. This one smells like a very nice dark room, like a very cozy room with very dimmed lighting, you're wearing something very dressed up, you're having a cocktail at the bar and then you are continuing your evening with uh, yeah, some drinks and something like that, you know. Uh, this is very interesting, it, 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 it's not so heavy but it's not so... It's not too light either, so it got a really great balance. So this one is a very, very nice fragrance that I personally love. Next one is from a brand that's called Caron, and this is uh, Porom de Caron, and this is called uh, Le Soir. It's a nighttime fragrance with lavender. It has some uh, oak moss, of course, like the original uh, fragrances from Caron always has. And this one, you feel that very earthy type of lavender just when uh, you splash it on your fragrance strip and then when it dries down a bit it becomes a little bit more nighttime-ish with the, I think there's some iris in this one that makes it a little bit similar to Prada L'Homme Absolute or something like that you know the, this heavy little bit darker type of iris that you can use when you are in a nighttime situation which I really like. So this one is a very interesting fragrance for a well-established brand from France, Caron, that's a very great uh, well-known brand and I got this in a little sample here as well uh, which I like and I've been wearing this frequently for the last, last times I've been uh, out. Next one, um, this one grew on me actually, I didn't really love it at first sniff but it has that very distinguished smell that a lot of Sadiq and Voltaire fragrances has in my opinion. Hard to explain but this one is this one is very fresh in the opening I would say but when it dries down it becomes a little bit more more sensual. It's not so polarizing as uh, a lot of other fragrances I think but this one almost everyone can have this one. This is a very interesting fragrance and it sits on your skin for a long time. That's a really great thing. So Sadiq and Voltaire Love is a great fragrance that I will definitely check out. Another one that surprised me a bit actually, I have to say, is from Salvatore Ferragamo. Uh, I don't really am that fond of Salvatore Ferragamo fragrances in general. It's not my favorite um, designer house to produce fragrances in my opinion but this one was pretty light and pretty easy going and uh, it's a good fragrance if you are very active I would say and this is Umo Urban Feel and uh, this one is like the name suggests it smells a little bit urban like maybe you're living in New York one be bedroom apartment it's a little bit fresh but it still has something interesting with it that I really like. It's a very fresh like all day every day type of fragrance but it doesn't smell so generic generic like a lot of other fragrances can do that are typical daytime fragrances. So that's why I like this very easy to wear very easy to like and I don't think that a lot of people buy this fragrance to wear as an all day every day type of fragrance which means you will stick out a little bit more if you are the one who choose this fragrance instead of um, some other typical daytime fragrances. Next one is might be a little bit um, dated, I would say. A little bit outdated type of smell, uh, old 
fragrance, but I have not been a fan of Gucci fragrances for a uh, as long as I can remember. I tried, uh, if you are a real OG at this channel, you saw when I tried Gucci Guilty Cologne, <laughs> one of my first videos, and I thought that fragrance was horrible. I almost puked. I got a really bad reaction for some ingredients in that fragrance. So since that day, I've just skipped all um, Gucci fragrances, but this one is very nice. I think yeah, even though it's not uh, It's not Revolutionary in any way. This is Gucci guilty pour on eau de toilette, and I think this is a very Pretty underrated fragrance right now. I don't hear, hear a lot of people include this one in uh, top 10 list and stuff like that they rather include fragrances like YSL YEDP, which this one, in my opinion, goes in the same direction, that it has a little bit that generic type of smell, very youthful, very playful type of fragrance, but it works really good, and I think this one lasts even longer, and I think this smells even better with the lavender in this one than, for example, YSL YEDP, that is overhyped in my opinion. I think you could buy this instead, and I think this is a uh, very good uh, alternative to YSL YEDP, and you can find this a little bit cheaper as well. Very easy to like if you just want, want one really good staple fragrance and you are maybe a little bit younger and you want something that is not too dressed up, but not too casual. It's just in the middle. I think this is a good value fragrance. I don't have anything to say about this one. It might not be for the collectors who have a big collection, but if you just want a daily driver and maybe you're a younger person and you want something that is very easy to like and women will definitely enjoy this fragrance. So th these were, uh, I think these were the ones that I am um, going to check in a little bit more this year and uh, this springtime, especially the Gucci fragrance and the Urban Feel from Salvatore Fergamo and uh, you might want to check out some new fragrances as well. Uh, if you have some new recommendations to me, let me know in the description what's on your 2023-23 wish list. Hope you have a great day, see you the next time.